Hey, Nick, just a question about last night specifically, but really the first two games. What needs to change for you guys to start making Toronto defend more and you guys defend less? Especially in game two, they had the puck more than you did, but it's kind of been that way in both of the games. Well, I think we can just shoot more. If you look at the stats from yesterday, I mean, that was just something that obviously stood out with just our pressure. But we, I think we can start taking more bad angle shots to break them down. And uh, I think it's pretty simple. I, I don't think it's rocket science how we need to play in order to have success. And I, I think we saw that last game with just our effort and our energy level. It wasn't where it needed to be. And it's the reason why we didn't have the, you know, the result that we wanted. So we, we shore that up. And I think we have a better result. And, and uh, I think we're excited about that opportunity to come tomorrow. Ryan Hedger, Columbus Dispatch. Hey, Nick, um, there's been a couple times in these first two games where, um, you know, Toronto obviously has very, a lot of, a lot of skill and they use it by cycling, basically they just, just pass into each other, pass, pass, pass. How difficult is that for you guys to just get the puck out of your zone that way? And, and what is the best way to go about that? Well, I, I mean, you know what they bring. So for us, it's, uh, it's just trying to stop them and, and, you know, obviously use our physicality to our advantage. I think in the first game, that's what helped us, you know, with, with them not getting generating too much. I think our four check needs to be better. I mean, it's all stuff that we, we know. That's why I think we're moving past it. And, and there's one thing, you know, about our team, uh, we always seem to bounce back the right way. And that's why I'm confident in this group and, and what we're going to bring tomorrow. And, and knowing that, you know, there's, it's a really important game for us. It's, it's important to answer back after a tough one yesterday and, uh, and we're really excited about that challenge. Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Hi, Nick. Uh, any theories as to why neither team has been able to score on the power play yet? Um, no, I think, I mean, we take a lot of pride in our penalty kill, uh, especially against a good uh, power play like them. And, uh, and we know how big of a difference maker it can be for both teams. So uh, it's an area that I'm sure both teams are looking to try to improve on, but uh, we're going to do our darndest to, to make sure we don't let them get anything on the power play and, and, and see if we can, you know, uh, tweak a few things to, to give us a little bit more success, a little bit more options on ours. And, uh, you know, I think both teams are looking at it that way. That's going to probably be a difference maker as this uh, series goes on. Next one, Jess Swoboda, bluejackets.com. Go ahead, Jeff, unmute yourself. Sorry, Jeff, we don't have you. We'll go back to Aaron Port's line. Hey, Vladdy. I wonder if you could tell a, a difference between game one and game two, how much harder Toronto seemed to play, how much more driven their forwards were. Matthews, Marner, those guys, they seemed to have a real push in game two that maybe wasn't there in game one, but did, could you tell that difference? Uh, they changed the details a little bit, but it's still the same team. So we tied 1-1, one, one, and we'll see what's happened tomorrow. Back to Brian Hedger for a question. Hey, uh, Vladdy, um, I was just wondering how this experience in the bubble, does this, does this remind you of, of any kind of like, you know, international tournament you've been in or anything? And what, what's some of your favorite stuff about the bubble? Um, um, actually, Fliege want to say something <laughs> about it. Yeah, Fliege, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not going to translate for you. You're good. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a kind of in worlds, maybe. Yeah, every, every team lived together. So, and uh, we still spend a lot of time together. Yeah. Any, anyway, um, we're on the same same page. So, we got to just keep going. And he won't play Savvy and I in FIFA yet. I think he's nervous. Mm, yeah. The dad about it. 